before I get into my subject, I would like to take a moment to thank Nathan for supporting my channel and buying me a coffee. So, last month, five sisters attacked a young Asian woman because she had box braids in her hair. So, this is all I can show you of this news story because I don't want to violate YouTube's community guidelines. So I still want to inform you folks about this news story because the news story gets a little bit more deeper because some of our lovely ladies in the community back home in America where the incident happened support the, you know, the attack because Asian women and others are not allowed to misappropriate one's culture not allowed to wear braids because our lovely ladies have patents on braids. They, uh, they have uh, copyrights on braids, at least in their stupid little heads. They don't. This could spark an international incident because, you know, our lovely ladies are already beefing with Asian ladies in Asia. You know, that uh, those women that can, uh, are poor and educated and speak very little English, you know, those ladies that you're beefing with, now something like this can cause some kind of incident because our lovely ladies, they like to misappropriate culture as well. You know, acrylic nails that our lovely ladies like to wear, that started in China. And let's not talk about the weed that they have in their head that comes from an Asian lady. So if you was to go to Asia, some of you so-called lovely ladies, and would it be okay for the Asian ladies to gang up on you and rip the weed out of your head because that comes from an Asian woman? And maybe rip the acrylic nails off of you because that started in China. Would that be okay? Would that be fair? Yeah. I'm not here to, to help you ladies or inform you ladies. I'm here to inform my brothers. And I also made this video because I want to inform the people in foreign countries on how you feel and think about them. I'm Andre Brooks, your favorite incel, and I'll see you on the next video. Unemployed, uneducated, rude in Brazil, in these third world, world countries where they have rats on the menu and they are feasting on fried rats because those chicks out there, from what I heard, they eat rats, a lot of them. These women who don't even have a place to stay most of the time, don't have any resources, okay, uh, lack the resources and finances that people out in America have. So what, I mean, what are you going to? You're going to what? A lot of these women are homeless. A lot of these women uh, don't have any finances. They're desperate. They'll do anything. A lot of them ain't been to the doctor. This is what they eat. This is called a cultural thing. So what these type of BMs are saying when they disparage black women is I hate my own culture. It's not about black women. It's about you hating yourself and you hating your culture and how you were raised and brought up by the women in your life. They out there eating rats, y'all. This, this ain't big mama cooking. This ain't your mama cooking. This ain't my cooking. This ain't your cooking. They out there eating rats. But they won't tell you this, right? How many diseases and, and infections these rats have that they out there. These women out there cooking this for them. Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille. Rat soup. Rat and rice. Rat fried, rat mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> I mean... Let's be real. What are y'all eating out there? Because we know that BMs love to eat. That's what they good at. Eating. 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 Right? Always eating. Always want something, some good food. Some, oh, you ain't cooked. 
Well, you're eating rats. Why? Why you're not complaining about the menu out there in these countries? 